When we started our store, it was kind of a we want to retire early scheme from our, our regular jobs. I was a microbiologist at MD Anderson and my husband was a chemical engineer for Bechtel. And we thought we might like to retire in our 50s as opposed to being carted out first. I do believe firmly in two things about books that are very valuable, one of which is if you use books early, if you learn to read early and you read a lot, reading comprehension is going to aid you through everything you need to do in your life, not only improve your grades, but help you pick your field of interest. Um, it just armchair travel, you will learn things that you, that, you know, will just lead you to things that you want to do in life. I mean, my daughter recently climbed Kilimanjaro, and she's 31. And a lot of it has to do with all the uh, fantasy adventures she was reading in middle school. To me, literature is a very personal thing. It's an author's heart and blood and ink on a page. Most of the stories written are inspired by people's real struggles, their real tribulations, their real happiness. So it's a really unique way to see inside someone's head. I think literature is important because it allows individuals to see all types of diversity. I think especially today that's important uh, when so many of us live in bubbles that we need to have a way to see things from other people's point of view. I really think that literature teaches people empathy because whether it's told from first person perspective or third person perspective, it is this character telling you their life stories, their struggles their whole journey, and you are forced to see that entire journey from their perspective and walk it in their shoes. I think that that allows people to maybe not be as quick to judge because you are seeing the reasons behind their actions and seeing exactly what thoughts go inside their head and what's going on in their mind. And reading has really taught me that the world isn't as black and white as I originally thought it was, that there's a lot of gray area, that there aren't necessarily villains and heroes, that everybody is just a person with layers and levels to themselves. And so allowing reading to teach me that empathy about these characters has been really, really beneficial to me in life because it's allowed me to interact with tons and tons of different people, which is gonna prepare me for my job and just being able to interact in today's society. I love literature because it speaks to me. Uh, long after I finish the book, it sticks with you. There's so many things that I'll read and then years later I find myself going back and rereading it because even though time has passed, the story, the message, the meaning is still relevant. And so I can pick things back up and read it again and sometimes the second time it finds a whole new meaning for me. Reading allows you to live a thousand lives simultaneously because you may not be having these experiences firsthand or traveling to these places or meeting these people, but it feels like you are because you're reading about it. The written word is, is uh, I, I would say almost sacrosanct. That's why there are still so many books in the world because people won't throw books away unless they're forced to for some reason. They want to find a new home for it. So that's good for me, of course, as a used bookstore. But it's also good for people to, to revere the written word. There's a reason that it's stayed so long. Reading is one of the world's oldest forms of entertainment, but it has survived through this world of constant advancement. It survived in this world of modern technology where it feels non-existent, but it's still here and thriving. And I don't think it's going to go away soon because there's just something about having the physical evidence of a story in your hand. From each little story, you take pieces and parts of these characters that you see yourself in and you relate to, and it just helps you to build as a person. I know personally that I've been able to read these novels and these stories, and I've been able to see these characters and the way they interact with their family and friends, and it's taught me how I want to interact with this world and the people in it, how I want to be who I want to be, it's really helped me to form myself as a person. Literature allows for you to choose what speaks to you 
And if you're kind of feeling frustrated or down, you get to choose what kind of book you want to read and it can enhance your mood, make you feel better, kind of provide an escape from things if things are rough. It's a great way to relax. Reading is something that stimulates my whole heart and soul. It's something that I go to when I'm not feeling at my best and I need a pick-me-up or something that I can just completely immerse myself in. I think literature is really important because it is important to give people an outlet like this, something that they can turn to in their time of need. You lose yourself in books, but you also find yourself there too.